Maligayang pagdating sa entrepreneurship self-learning video, kung saan tinutuklasan natin ang navigating the entrepreneurial landscape, the 12 hours of opportunity screening. Idinisenyo ang video na ito upang mag-alok sa iyo ng mga nakakainganyo at kapakipakinabang na pagkakataon para sa parehong structured at self-driven na pag-aaral na nagbibigay daan sa iyong matuto sa sarili mong bilis. Magkakaroon ka ng kalayaang isali ang iyong sarili sa nilalamang pang-edukasyon habang aktibong nakikipag-ugnayan dito. Samahan kami sa Teacher Lumaban YouTube Channel para sa nakakapanabik na pang-edukasyon na pakikipagsapalaran. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Learning objectives, after going through this video, you are expected to Distinguish between goods and services Recognize the 12 R's used for opportunity screening Develop a business proposal centered around addressing a community's specific needs and opportunities Let's have a pre-test from this topic Pre-test Directions, read each item carefully Select the letter of the best answer from the choices given. What is the primary difference between goods and services? A. Goods are intangible, while services are tangible. B. Goods are abstract, while services are physical. C. Goods are products, while services are experiences. D. Goods and services are the same. Which of the following is an example of a tangible good? A. Laundry service B. Tutorial session C. Food D. Repair shop expertise What is the main characteristic of services? A. They are physical and tangible. B. Their primary value is in the act of delivery. C. They involve the production of goods. D. They are always associated with physical products. Which of the following is not one of the 12 R's of opportunity screening? A. Reliability B. Revenue potential C. Range D. Risks
why is it important for an opportunity to resonate with an entrepreneur's values? A. To increase production efficiency. B. To align with customer demands. C. To ensure long-term success and satisfaction. D. To reduce the cost of resources. Let's have a recap from the previous topic. What is the primary focus of the review and adaptation step in SWOT analysis? A. Data collection. B. Strategy development. C. Continuous assessment and adjustment. D. Implementation. Which of the following is not part of the SWOT analysis process? A. Data collection. B. Brainstorming. C. Financial forecasting. D. Strategy development. Which step in SWOT analysis involves formulating strategies and action plans based on the analysis? A. Data collection. B. Brainstorming. C. Analysis. D. Strategy development. What should entrepreneurs do when they are confident they are exerting their utmost effort, according to the passage? A. Focus on external factors. B. Accept the outcomes, whatever they may be. C. Expand their business rapidly. D. Ignore their weaknesses. SWOT analysis is primarily used for a. Analyzing historical financial data b. 
Assessing the Personal Attributes of an Entrepreneur C. Summarizing an Organization's Current Status and Aiding in Strategy Development D. Identifying Potential Competitors Let's go to the lesson. Motivations. Directions, determine if the business is goods or services. Navigating the Entrepreneurial Landscape, the 12 Hour of Opportunity Screening Pag-navigate sa Entrepreneurial Landscape, ang labindalawa hour ng Opportunity Screening. In the realm of commerce and consumption, two fundamental categories define the landscape, goods and services. Goods are the tangible, sensory products that shape our daily lives, encompassing everything from essential sustenance like food to the very clothes on our backs. They extend to the tools that keep our world running smoothly, such as cleaning supplies and vehicles for transportation. Services, on the other hand, offer an intangible dimension to our existence. They exist in the realm of abstraction, with their value primarily residing in the act of delivery itself. Services span a wide spectrum, from laundry facilities and educational tutorials to luxurious hotel accommodations and the expertise of repair shops and travel agencies. This dichotomy between goods and services is central to our modern economy, influencing how we interact with and navigate the world of consumer choices. Sa larangan ng komersyo at pagkonsumo, dalawang pangunahing kategorya ang tumutukoy sa tanawin, mga produkto at serbisyo. Ang mga kalakalay ang nakikita, pandaman ng mga produkto na humuhubog sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay, na sumasaklaw sa lahat mula sa mahalagang kabuhayan tulad ng pagkain hanggang sa mismong mga damit sa ating likuran. Ang mga ito ay umaabot sa mga tool na nagpapanatili sa ating mundo ng maayos, tulad ng mga supply ng paglilinis at mga sasakyan para sa transportasyon. Ang mga serbisyo, sa kabilang banda, ay nag-aalok ng hindi nakikitang dimensyon sa ating pag-iral. Umiiral sila sa larangan ng abstraction, na ang kanilang halaga ay pangunahing naninirahan sa gawa ng paghatid mismo. Ang mga serbisyo ay sumasaklaw sa isang malawak na spectrum, mula sa mga kagamitan sa paglalaba at mga pang-edukasyon at tutorial hanggang sa mga mararangyang accommodation sa hotel at ang kadalubhasaan ng mga repair shop at travel agency.
Ang dichotomy na ito sa pagitan ng mga produkto at serbisyo ay sentro ng ating modernong ekonomiya na nakaka-influensya kung paano tayo nakikipag-ugnayan at nag-navigate sa mundo ng mga pagpipilian ng consumer. Goods. These are physical, tangible products that consumers can perceive through their senses. They encompass material items that consumers need and desire, such as food, clothing, cleaning supplies, transportation vehicles, and more. Mga paninda. Ang mga ito ay pisikal, nasa salat ng mga produkto na maaaring maramdaman ng mga mamimili sa pamamagitan ng kanilang mga pandama. Sinasaklaw ng mga ito ang mga material na bagay na kailangan at hinahangad ng mga mamimili, tulad ng pagkain, damit, panlinis, sasakyang pangtransportasyon, at higit pa. Services, on the other hand, are intangible offerings that are abstract in nature and cannot be observed through our senses. One key characteristic of services is that the primary value lies in the act of delivery itself rather than the production of physical goods. Examples of services include laundry facilities, tutorial services, hotel accommodations, repair shops, travel agencies, beauty parlors, and more. Ang mga serbisyo, sa kabilang banda, ay hindi nasa salat ng mga handog na abstract sa kalikasan at hindi mapapansin sa pamamagitan ng ating mga pandama. Ang isang pangunahing katangian ng mga serbisyo ay ang pangunahing halaga ay nasa mismong aksyon ng paghahatid sa halip na ang produksyon ng mga pisikal na kalakal. Kasama sa mga halimbawa ng mga serbisyo ang mga kagamitan sa paglalaba, mga serbisyo ng tutorial, mga hotel na akomodasyon, mga repair shop, mga ahensya sa paglalakbay, mga beauty parlor, at higit pa. The 12 Hour of Opportunity Screening is a framework that entrepreneurs can use to assess potential opportunities. The 12 Hour R. Ang labindalawa hour ng Opportunity Screening ay isang balangkas na magagamit ng mga negosyante upang masuri ang mga potensyal na pagkakataon. Ang labindalawa R ay Relevance to vision, mission, and objectives of the entrepreneur to achieve the long-term goals of the business, it's crucial that the opportunity aligns with the entrepreneur's vision, mission, and objectives. Kaugnayan sa pananaw, mission, at layunin ng entrepreneur upang makamit ang mga pangmatagalang layunin ng negosyo, napakahalaga na ang pagkakataon ay naaayon sa vision, mission, at layunin ng negosyante. Resonance with values, it's important that the opportunities chosen to resonate with your values and desired virtues. Resonance with values, mahalaga na ang mga pagkakataong pinili ay tumutugma sa iyong mga pinahahalagahan at ninanais ng mga birtod. Reinforcement of entrepreneurial interests, as a potential entrepreneur, it's advisable to select opportunities that align with your interests to nurture your skills. Pagpapatibay ng mga interes sa entrepreneurial bilang isang potensyal na negosyante, ipinapayong pumili ng mga pagkakataon na naaayon sa iyong mga interes upang mapangalagaan ang iyong mga kasanayan. Revenue potential, revenue generation depends not only on the opportunities quality but also on the future enterprise's ability to strategize and create a marketable good or service. Potensyal ng kita, ang pagbuo ng kita ay nakasalalay hindi lamang sa kalidad ng pagkakataon kundi sa kakayahan ng negosyo sa hinaharap na mag-strategize at lumikha ng isang mabibailang produkto o serbisyo. Responsiveness to customer needs and wants, success is more likely when your choice aligns with unmet customer demands. Pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan at gusto ng customer, mas malamang na magtagumpay kapag ang iyong pinili ay naaayon sa hindi natutugunan ng mga kahilingan ng customer. Reach opportunities that can expand through the addition of similar goods, services, branches, or franchise outlets have strong potential for rapid growth. Abot ang mga pagkakataong maaaring lumawak sa pamamagitan ng pagdaragdag ng mga katulad na produkto, serbisyo, sangay, o franchise outlet ay may malakas na potensyal para sa mabilis na paglago. Range the wider the range of potential goods or services, the more appealing the opportunity becomes. Saklaw, kung mas malawak ang hanay ng mga potensyal na produkto o serbisyo, mas nagiging kaakit-akit ang pagkakataon. Revolutionary impact, the next big thing in the market often represents a game-changing opportunity that can revolutionize industries and render older goods and services obsolete. Revolutionaryong epekto, ang susunod na malaking bagay sa merkado ay madalas na kumakatawan sa isang pagkakataon na nagbabago ng laro na maaaring magbago ng mga industriya at maging lipas na ang mga lumang produkto at serbisyo. Returns on investment, opportunities with low production or service costs but higher prices typically yield better returns on sales and investment. 
Returns on investment ang mga pagkakataong may mababang gasto sa produksyon o serbisyo ngunit ang mas mataas na presyo ay karaniwang nagbubunga ng mas magandang kita sa mga benta at pamumuhunan. Relative ease of implementation, the best opportunities are those easy for you to implement but challenging for others. Relatibong dali ng pagpapatupad, ang pinakamahusay ng mga pagkakataon ay ang mga madaling ipatupad ngunit mapaghamong para sa iba. Required resources, opportunities with lower resource demands on the entrepreneur may prove more profitable than those requiring substantial resources. Mga kinakailangang mapagkukunan, ang mga pagkakataong may mas mababang pangangailangan sa mapagkukunan sa negosyante ay maaaring mapatunayang mas kumikita kaysa sa mga nangangailangan ng malaking mapagkukunan. Risks, some opportunities carry higher risks due to being untested or having a small market base, with sales potentially being seasonal or cyclical. Mga panganib, ang ilang mga pagkakataon ay nagdadala ng mas mataas na mga panganib dahil sa hindi pa nasusubok o pagkakaroon ng isang maliit na base sa merkado, na ang mga benta ay posibleng maging panapanahon o paikot. Here are some additional tips for entrepreneurs when evaluating opportunities. Narito ang ilang karagdagang tip para sa mga negosyante kapag sinusuri ang mga pagkakataon. Consider the market size and potential. How big is the market for the good or service you are considering offering? Is it growing or shrinking? What are the competitive forces in the market? Isa alang-alang ang laki at potensyal ng merkado. Gaano kalaki ang merkado para sa kabutihan o serbisyong pinag-iisipan mong ialok? Ito ba ay lumalaki o lumiliit? Ano ang mga pwersang nakikipagkumpitensya sa merkado? Assess your own skills and resources. Do you have the skills and resources necessary to execute on the opportunity? Are you willing to invest the time and money required to be successful? Suriin ang iyong sariling mga kakayahan at mapagkukunan. Mayroon ka bang mga kasanayan at mapagkukunan na kinakailangan upang may sagawa ang pagkakataon? Handa ka bang maglaan ng oras at pera na kailangan para maging matagumpay? Create a business plan. A business plan will help you to flesh out your ideas and identify potential risks and challenges. It will also serve as a roadmap for your business as you move forward. Gumawa ng plano sa negosyo. Ang isang plano sa negosyo ay makakatulong sa iyo na mabuo ang iyong mga ideya at matukoy ang mga potensyal na panganib at hamon. Ito rin ay magsisilbing roadmap para sa iyong negosyo habang sumusulong ka. Talk to mentors and advisors. Get feedback from people who have experience in entrepreneurship and in the industry you are targeting. Their insights can be invaluable. Makipag-usap sa mga tagapayo at tagapayo. Makakuha ng feedback mula sa mga taong may karanasan sa entrepreneurship at sa industriya na iyong tina-target. Ang kanilang mga pananaw ay maaaring maging napakahalaga. Einstein's Quote Ang quote ni Einstein Albert Einstein once said, The only source of knowledge is experience. This quote is a reminder that the best way to learn and grow is by taking action and trying new things. When evaluating entrepreneurial opportunities, it is important to consider your own unique skills and talents, as well as the market size and potential. However, it is also important to be willing to experiment and take risks. Minsan ay sinabi ni Albert Einstein, ang tanging pinagmumula ng kaalaman ay karanasan. Ang quote na ito ay isang paalala na ang pinakamahusay na paraan upang matuto at lumago ay sa pamamagitan ng pagkilos at pagsubok ng mga bagong bagay. Kapag sinusuri ang mga pagkakataon sa pagdenegosyo, mahalagang isaalang-alang ang iyong sariling natatangin kakayahan at talento, pati na rin ang laki at potensyal ng merkado. Gayunpaman, mahalaga din na maging handa na mag-eksperimento at makipagsapalaran. Conclusion Conclusion Evaluating entrepreneurial opportunities is a critical step in the startup process. By carefully considering the factors listed above, entrepreneurs can increase their chances of success. Ang pagsusuri sa mga pagkakataong pangnegosyo ay isang critical na hakbang sa proseso ng pagsisimula. Sa pamamagitan ng maingat na pagsasaalang-alang sa mga salik na nakalista sa itaas, maaaring mapataas ng mga negosyante ang kanilang mga pagkakataong magtagumpay. Let's do something fun or engaging. Activity 1. Challenge yourself. Let's say you have 100,000 pesos and you want to start a business in response to the current situation we are experiencing today. To help you with this challenge, follow these instructions. List 5 instances of the current situation. 
Think of two business suggestions for each opportunity. Use the guidelines to select the goods slash services needed in the market. Example, because of online education and services people need an internet connection, business proposal A, PSO net B, loading station. Opportunity. Business proposal.
Activity 2, Application Direction, consider a good or service that is currently underperforming due to its current circumstances. Document the factors contributing to its poor performance. Propose potential remedies for their issues or explore alternative business opportunities they could pursue. Name of product. Reasons. Possible solutions. Possible alternative business.
Activity 3, PMI Matrix Directions, based on the topic being discussed, accomplish the PMI matrix based on your learning. Plus, what's best in the discussion? Minus, what's is quite difficult. Interesting, what struck you most?
Activity 4, Practical Tips Directions, to deepen your understanding of the topic, list down practical tips to make and take opportunities that will enrich your life as a future entrepreneur.
Activity 4, True or False Directions, answer true if the statement is correct. Answer false if the statement is wrong. 1. Use your intuition and guts in selecting goods or services. 2. You need to give up a lot of things like going out with friends to pursue a business opportunity. 3. It is important that the opportunities you choose to pursue match with your values and desired virtues. 4. Services are tangible products that consumers observe using their senses. 5. You need to consider the viability of products or services in today's market.
Activity 6, Matching Type Match column A with the correct answer in column B chose only the letter of the correct answer. Column A Range Revolutionary Impact Reach Revenue Resonance Column B B Sales Opportunity Expansion to attain rapid growth Pursues unfulfilled wishes of customers Must match the values you wish to impart A wide variety of goods or services to offer Game Changer
Post test. Directions Read each item carefully. Select the letter of the best answer from the choices given. Which R focuses on the ability of an opportunity to expand through the addition of similar goods or services? A. Reach. B. Range. C. Revolutionary impact. D. Returns on investment. What does relative ease of implementation refer to in the context of opportunity screening? A. The opportunity's potential for rapid growth. B. The ease of obtaining required resources. C. How easily the opportunity can be executed by the entrepreneur. D. The risks associated with the opportunity. What is the significance of required resources in evaluating entrepreneurial opportunities? A. It determines the size of the market. B. It indicates the potential for rapid growth. C. It affects the profitability of the opportunity. D. It has no impact on success. Which factor assesses the potential risks associated with an opportunity? A. Returns on investment. B. Revolutionary impact. C. Relevance to vision. D. Required resources. When evaluating an opportunity, what should entrepreneurs consider regarding the market? A. The size of the market and its growth potential. B. The availability of skilled employees. C. The entrepreneur's personal interests. D. The cost of resources.
What is the purpose of creating a business plan when evaluating entrepreneurial opportunities? A. To identify potential risks and challenges. B. To secure funding from investors. C. To market the product or service. D. To hire employees. According to Albert Einstein, what is the only source of knowledge? A. Experience. B. Education. C. Imagination. D. Intelligence. What does Einstein's quote, the only source of knowledge is experience, emphasize in the context of entrepreneurship? A. The importance of formal education. B. The need for a large team of experts. C. The value of taking action and trying new things. D. The significance of market research. Why is evaluating entrepreneurial opportunities a critical step in the startup process? A. It secures funding from investors. B. It guarantees success in the market. C. It helps entrepreneurs learn from experience. D. It eliminates all potential risks. What should entrepreneurs seek from mentors and advisors when evaluating opportunities? A. Financial investment. B. Personal connections. C. Feedback and insights. D. Technical expertise. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 
Sana ay nasiyahan kayo at may natutunan kayong bago sa aming paksa sa entrepreneurship self-learning video. Kung may natutunan ka sa video na ito, mangyaring bigyan ang video na ito ng thumbs up. Huwag kalimutang ibahagi ang video na ito sa iyong mga kaibigan. Kung mayroon kang mga komento, tanong, o mungkahi, maaari kang mag-iwan ng mensahe sa seksyon ng komento sa ibaba. Maraming salamat sa panunood ng aking mga video. Sana magkita ulit tayo sa susunod kong video, and God bless you always. Ito ay ang Teacher Lumaban YouTube Channel.